One of the most powerful gifts that we have in the Catholic Church is the Eucharist. And I don't think that we utilize it enough. The Latin word for adoration is adoratio, which means a kiss and an embrace. Adoration has transformed me as a woman. And if you have any problems, any wounds, anything that is too overwhelming for you or something that you may be so ashamed of that you can't talk to anybody about because you feel that they may not understand you, go to adoration. Jesus waits there for you. And sometimes when I go to adoration, I just sit there and I think, nothing really happened. I didn't have some huge spiritual experience and you know, I never really do. But there's an amazing analogy that I heard that I think is perfect for this. And is that when the clouds are covering the sun, you still can get burnt by the sun. It's still there and you still feel the effects of it even though you don't see it. And sometimes when you're sitting in adoration, it's hard and you may not even understand what adoration is and you may not know what to say to Jesus just sitting there, but you don't have to. Just being there with him is enough. I had a really hard time in my life and I was so sick of the lifestyle that I was living. And one night I was coming home from a party and I passed by this adoration chapel and everything in me wanted to go in, but I knew what I had been doing at that party and I felt so disgusting and I felt so shameful, but I knew I needed help. I needed help to get out of that lifestyle. And so I pulled in the parking lot and I thought, can I really go in there like this? And then I mustered up the courage and I walked into this perpetual adoration chapel. And as I walked in, I couldn't even look up at the Eucharist. I was so shameful. And finally I knelt down and I got the courage to look up at Jesus in the Eucharist. And I said, Lord, help me. Jesus, please help me in all of my filth, in all of my disgustingness, please help me. And then I freaked out, stood up, and I ran out of that chapel. <laughs> and as I walked away, I thought, what was I doing? What was I thinking? Stupid, stupid. But now that I look back at that situation, that was a huge turning point in my life because I realized that God just didn't want my good, that God just didn't want me to be a saint and then he was going to love me but that God truly wanted to meet me where I was at. He wanted to love me in all of my shame and all of my filth and everything that I had done. He wanted to love me right where I was. So it doesn't matter what's going on in your life or how shameful you may feel or that God doesn't want you. No, you're exactly where you're at and he will meet you there. But you just need to take that first step. Just go to that adoration chapel. And if you can't do that and that's too much for you, Go sit in the back of a Catholic church, in the very back pew, and just see what Jesus has to say to you. But he will never impose himself upon you. You always need to just take that first step and he will lead you the rest of the way. Because there are no problems, there's no situation that is too big for him, that you walk out of that adoration chapel that he can't handle. Never be afraid to go to Jesus with anything. Face it, own it, heal it. I'll be praying for you.